Having reliable electricity from the grid is definitely something that I and a lot of others take for granted, I believe. Um, but with all the craziness that is happening in the world right now and the increased number of extreme weather events, it's definitely something that you want to keep in mind. You probably want to be thinking about some kind of battery backup system for your home um, to keep some of your important appliances running in the case of a power outage. Thankfully, if you are looking to buy some kind of energy backup system for your home, there are quite a number of good choices in the market right now. For instance, like the Tesla Powerwall or something like that. Now, a system like the Tesla Powerwall is fixed and installed to your home permanently. You can't take that device and it's not portable. You can't take that device and uh, take it on a camping trip or to a job site. However, the new Mango Power E that I'm going to be um, reviewing in this video is portable and it can be connected to your home as well. Now for full disclosure, Mango Power did give me this Power E power station in exchange for this review video. But while this is a sponsored video, I'm going to be sharing my honest opinion about this product. So what is the Power E and why should you seriously consider it? I'm John and this is Cleaner Watt. First of all, when it comes to build quality, everything appears to be um, put together very well. Um, nice plastic sturdy case. I really like that it has these two big handles on the top, which makes it a lot easier to lift this thing. Of course, it is a bit heavy. It weighs somewhere around 100 pounds. Um, so it's not super easy to lift, but it is possible. And definitely it's easy with two people because you can each grip one of these handles. But it does have this nice telescoping handle that allows you to scoot that around. So when it comes to portability, it's actually much better than the 100 pound sounds. Now, um, I like that all the ports that you need, the output ports are here in the front. There's got a nice touch screen, which we'll go over some of those functions in a minute. It's got your four 120 volt, 20 amp outlets. It's got six USB-A ports. It's got two USB-C ports, two 12 volt DC outlets, a 12 volt car outlet. And of course you have your um, RV30, um, 120 volt outlet there as well. And uh, the touch screen is very easy to use. You're able to turn on and off AC, DC uh, power you're able to adjust a quick charge or a regular charge and go through a few basic settings here. It's also going to display um, how many watts you're pulling and uh, charge rates, etc. Uh, but overall build quality, everything's great. Um, when it comes to inlet ports, I'll go ahead and slide this around. You notice here that you have a little panel. You pull that panel like that. It's got a nice rubberized piece to hold it there. And um, you have your solar input, which it does come with a solar cable to be able to plug this into a solar system. You also have your grid charging port there, which it comes with a, uh, a standard 120 volt plug that screws into this. And then you also have your E-Link port, which allows you to link different devices together, and then your E-Port here. So the devices that you need to connect are very easy. And we'll talk about the modularity here in a minute of how you can expand this capacity. But I just wanted to start with overall uh, design. Now let's talk a little bit about the specs of these particular units and the modularity. So this single unit right here, the base unit, has 3.53 kilowatt hours of energy storage built in. It also has a power output of 3000 watts or three kilowatts, so quite a bit of power. You can power a lot of devices at one time with this device. If you want to extend this out and have more power, the first thing you can do is you can buy a 3.53 extension battery that stacks on top, connects through the port here, and that gives you uh, double the capacity, um, but it doesn't change the power rating. If you want a higher amount of power, you can actually attach two of these power E's together, once again through the cable, and that not only gives you an extension of uh, more energy storage, but that also doubles the amount of watts and output power. So if you connect two of these devices together, that gives you a total of 6,000 watts of power. 
Um, there's also several devices, for instance, if you get the um, M Socket Pro, you can actually connect with two of these devices connect together. You can plug that in here and that allows you to run 240 split phase power. Um, and the manufacturer Mango Power said that that can run up to 50 amps and of course 6,000 watts of 240 volt split phase power. So that's an impressive capability that you have that option with this device. This device actually charges pretty quickly as well. Um, you can charge this up with solar panels and the solar um, input can accept up to 2000 watts of power. So that's pretty incredible. You can plug this in to the regular 120 volt outlet with the provided cable. Um, and a 15 amp 120 volt outlet would provide up to 1800 watts of power, but this device can accept up to 3000 watts of grid AC input. Um, and if you have the appropriate adapter, you can connect this to an electric vehicle charger and probably get that up to that max 3000 watts. Okay, so I'm about to plug this in. Let me go ahead and turn off the AC load. No need to have AC on right now as I'm charging. Uh, I'm plugging this into a 15 amp 120 volt outlet. We're at 82%. You can see that the grid charging is starting to ramp up there. Um, yesterday when I was charging, it was averaging around 430 without quick charge enabled. So I'll let it sit there and get up to that. So 420 to 430 is the normal grid charging default. But if you want this to charge faster, if you click the uh, quick charge option right there, it actually ramps this up quite a bit. If you'll notice the grid charging number there should increase. Yesterday I was getting well over a thousand and at one point I was over 1500 for a period of time and that was around 80% battery capacity as well yesterday. So I'm curious to see where that'll get up to here with quick charge enabled. So 1574 watts, 1575 watts there with quick charge enabled, that's totally sufficient. You can charge this thing pretty quickly at that kind of rate. Mango Power does sell a separate uh, portable solar panel kit that can plug directly into this. And that's something I hope to review in the future and I can tell you how that does. Okay, so as I mentioned, this unit stores around 3.53 kilowatt hours of energy and it has a power output of 3000 watts. I wanna put that to the test. Um, by plugging in several devices and seeing how well uh, it's able to run these devices. We'll start with something that's very power intensive and that's a, a heater. Uh, heaters take a lot of watts. This particular heater takes 1500 watts of power when it's running fully and warming up. So uh, let's run that, let's see how it does with that. And then we'll add a couple other devices as well and see if we can max this out to the 3000 watts. Okay, first of all, I have a heater here that we're gonna turn on and we're gonna see the uh, power consumption there. So the heater is at a pretty consistent uh, 1500 or so watts that it's pulling. And it's definitely handling that totally easily. So that's no problem at all. Let's go ahead and add a DeWalt air compressor and see how it does with that connected. So I turned that off just for a second so I can talk, but that put it over uh, 2,500 and the high 50s to 2,560 watts. Let's go ahead and add another device. I'm gonna go ahead and add an orbital sander. You can see that with the heater, the air compressor, and the orbital sander, we got close to 2,800 watts. Let's see if we can go ahead and add one more small device and get it close to that 3,000 watts. Okay, so right now I have four devices connected. I'm gonna turn them all on and see if we can max this out at 3000. So we have this heater, we have a reciprocating saw, we have an orbital sander, and of course, a pancake compressor. Okay, so once again, 1400 and some watts with just the heater. Go ahead and turn on the compressor. Okay, so this device, you know, as you can see there, um, I got it up near 3000 watts and I was running 
four different devices at a single time and uh, it didn't hesitate at all. It ran those four devices with no problems, but like a champ, it did totally fine with that. Okay, so it's one thing to be able to uh, power these things like this, but one of the big reasons why you buy this device is not only to have portable power, but also to be able to power devices in your home. So I'm going to connect this to a freezer that I have in our garage and uh, take a look and see how long it thinks that it could uh, keep this device, these devices running uh, with just the 3.5 kilowatt hours of energy. Okay, so right now I plugged it into the deep freezer in my garage um, and the compressor is not actually running right at the moment but it still is uh, pulling 407 watts to run the freezer. And as that at that current state, it's estimating with 94% battery life that it would run seven hours and uh, two minutes. Now, when it comes to the batteries that power this device, um, it's actually equipped with lithium iron phosphate battery cells made by CATL. Interestingly enough, these are actually cylindrical cells and they're quite large cells because for this 3.5, kilowatt hour uh, capacity 3.53 technically um, it actually only has 48 individual cylindrical battery cells mango power told me that each one of these lithium iron phosphate battery cells has a storage capacity of 23 amp hours and the dish charge capacity is uh, somewhere around 73.6 uh, watt hours so pretty big cells for comparison um, a 4680 Tesla battery cell has somewhere between 92 and a half to, uh, to 98, 99 watt hours per cell. So this is actually somewhat close in energy capacity to say um, a Tesla 4680 battery cell. So interesting, great battery technology. Now, one of the big reasons why I'm a big fan of lithium iron phosphate batteries comes down to a long cycle life. And this device is no exception. So uh, based on the documents that Mango Power sent me, this device should be able to um, maintain a 70% capacity after 6,000 charges. Now that's really impressive. They mentioned that those 6,000 charges are at a rate of 0.5C and a temperature somewhere in the mid 70s. So just your average um, kind of charging thing. And, it, and once again, if you charge this device at home in a 120 volt outlet, you're gonna be in an environment likely in your house that's somewhere in that temperature range. You're also going to be charging probably at a rate slower than 0.5C. So if you charge this thing normally, um, it's very possible you could have this thing for many years. So once again, long life. Now, in addition to long life, lithium iron phosphate batteries are known to be very safe as well, which I think is really important for a device that's going to be um, in a vehicle if you take it somewhere or a device that's going to be sitting in your home and powering your home, which we'll talk about that system. Um, but you know, overall, great device. It's got a nice fan built in to keep the batteries cool. Um, a good uh, battery management system to also make sure that uh, it charges properly and discharges properly. But yeah, I'm very impressed with the battery technology that they chose for this device. I also really like that Mango offers a long five-year warranty for the Power E. So that gives me a lot of confidence in how they built this device because they're willing to stand behind it for five years. This device will also be able to be controlled by an Android or iPhone app that Mango Power offers. And as of right now, it was not ready for me to test, but it should be uh, working very shortly. That app should allow you to remotely control this device and monitor the power. Um, and so that's gonna be a very handy feature for many reasons, but especially if you take this device and use it as a home energy storage device, you'll be able to monitor this without going to where the device is. Now, so far we've talked a lot about the portability of this device, being able to take power on the go with you, whether that be to the work site, the camp site, or wherever you need power. Um, but this device can also be integrated as a home backup system as well. Starting in March of next year, um, Mango Power is going to be offering what they call their M Panel Pro, which will allow you to get that installed and connect 
these devices directly into your home circuits. So that's definitely something to look for in the near future if that's something that's important to you. And once again, if you had two of these devices connected with two extension batteries, that would give you a total of just a bit over 14 kilowatt hours of energy storage and an output of up to 6,000 watts. So a lot of power um, and really a relatively small package and one that can be disconnected and taken wherever you need it, once again, on the job site or the campsite or wherever. I really like the portability of this, but also the fact that you can integrate it into a home energy solution as well. Now, really to wrap this up, it, it does definitely appear like this device lives up to its claims. Um, you know, when you're looking for a device like this, you wanna see not only what the manufacturer says it can do, but that it actually does that. I was not able to charge with a solar panel. I don't have that set up yet, but I will hopefully test that in the future. But once again, you can connect solar directly to this. The grid charging just with a regular 120 volt outlet, um, that worked well, especially when I clicked the fast charge option on the screen and that allowed it to charge um, at a rate well over 1500 uh, watts, which I assume at some point I may be able to reach that roughly 1800 watts as well, which is a theoretical maximum for a 15 amp 120 volt circuit. And uh, you definitely can power a lot of devices with this. Once again, that 3000 watt output rating is legit. That's the real deal that does well. Portability, once again, it is heavy, um, but nice big handles here allow you to uh, easily move this, it has a rubberized grip on there. And then the handle here on the back that allows you, like, like a luggage handle, allows you to slide that up and the big nice wheels in the back allow you to wheel this around and take it where you need to. So overall, if you're looking for a home energy solution, but you also want the portability of a power station, uh, this is definitely worth your consideration. Great battery technology, um, a good amount of storage, a good amount of output. It's expandable, it's modular, um, it charges quickly. There's just a really a lot to like with this device. So I'm definitely a fan and I'm definitely going to continue using this device. And I hope to keep you updated on maybe future tests that I do with this as well. I did also wanna let you know that Mango Power is offering a special limited discount code for my viewers. If you use the code CLEANERWATT at checkout, you can get a special deal on this particular device for a limited period of time. So make sure that you check that out. I'll put a link in the video description. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I wanna say a special thank you to the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.